It is a pleasure to address you on the occasion of the 2011 International Year of Chemistry. Chemistry connects all the other sciences. It explores the building blocks of life, it investigates the materials that constitute it, and it explores the energy that drives it. It provides openings to understanding our planet and cosmos. The responsible development and use of chemistry is part of the answer to core challenges we face today. Questions of how we feed people, how to improve health, how to protect the environment, and how to develop sustainably. This international year is an opportunity to connect with the power of chemistry to support the common good. Our goals in 2011 are to celebrate the art and science of chemistry, to showcase its contribution to knowledge, environmental protection and economic development, to build new partnerships for responsible chemistry and to spark the curiosity of every boy and girl with its wonders. This is the result of teamwork. At the Initiative of Ethiopia in December 2008, the United Nations General Assembly proclaimed 2011 as the International Year of Chemistry and placed UNESCO and the International Union of Pure and Applied Chemistry at the helm. Countless individuals and organizations in industry, government and across the sectors of science and education have been active in planning events worldwide. I encourage you to visit the website of the International Year of Chemistry to find out more. Teaching and learning hold the keys to our future. We must nurture today the chemists of tomorrow. The imagination of every girl and boy is a precious resource. In classrooms, through new communication technologies, by building new partnerships, our aim is to encourage young people to explore the mysteries of chemistry and to stimulate their creativity to take us all forward. Girls and women are especially important here. Marie Sklodowska Curie was awarded the Nobel Prize in Chemistry 100 years ago. Since then, only three women have been honored in this way. The world needs more women laureates. We must do more to encourage young women to contribute their talents to this exciting field. This is a priority of UNESCO and of this international year. 2011 marks also the 100th anniversary of the founding of the International Association of Chemical Societies, which later became the International Union of Pure and Applied Chemistry. The International Year of Chemistry follows the conclusion of the 2010 International Year of Biodiversity and falls within the context of the United Nations Decade of Education for Sustainable Development 2005-2014. The timing is good. This 2011 is an opportunity to celebrate chemistry and to support its responsible development into the future. I wish you a very successful International Year of Chemistry.